All right, all right. It's Chris, Schmidl Stuff eBay store. Uh, today, we have to box up a stained glass lampshade. Now, normally, I have my stuff pre-packaged, but today, I'm going to show you how I package this thing up. All right, so here is the shade. Very pretty. Very cool. Made in Thailand. Now here's the issue. It does have a crack here. Uh, it feels pretty sturdy. Uh, that was listed that that is there, in case you're wondering. So, all right. First thing we're going to do get the uh, computer turned on and get this pulled up to the shipping screen. Right. And when I list things, I have parameters that I give myself to work within so that I don't get screwed on shipping costs. I'll show you what I mean here. All right, so when I listed this, I said that it'll be in a box 20 inches by 20 inches by 10 inches. It'll weigh five pounds. So, let's see if we can stay within those parameters. This box here, my secret weapon box for shipping. We have lots and lots of foam. Now, the difference between this foam and this styrofoam over here is if this box was to drop, it has some give. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it has give, flex, a little bit of play. Where if you box it with this, I mean, this is more of a box filler than a protector because it's lightweight. This is more drop protection. So we will be using this stuff. All right. I actually have two boxes full of this. Lots and lots of just different pieces to work with. It's very cool. Easy to cut with a razor knife shape. We're going to go in here and find us a box. All right, we're going to use this box here. So, we're going to have to make some adjustments with this box, I believe. See what we got. Not bad. Actually, I think we're going to go with this box. We got 22 by 18 which keeps us in our parameters by 12 inches I think we're going to go with this box all right first thing we're going to do we're going to pad the bottom of that now because of the shape of the lamp I'm going to use this for the middle, right there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So we got a nice recess 
in the middle. Let me just keep it close up. And then what we're gonna do. There, perfect. Man, I love it when a plan comes together. A lot of times when you're packing this kind of stuff, it just doesn't come together real smooth. You've got to fight with it and get really, really creative. So, it turns out that today. bit easier. Look at that. It's just nestled in there. Perfect. Look at that. So, you want something in the middle of that. That there. Perfect. Now when you have your foam in here, you want it above the actual item. So that when you close the box, it creates some pressure and holds it in place. Okay. Like that. Like that. Need one there. going to cut this dog in half. Put that there. Put that there. We need more in that spot right there. inside of this box when we get it set up here. And then we need another one right there. Let's show you what this looks like. All right, so we got a good cushion right here. Good cushion here. We got some pressure on the sides. And like I said, this here is actually above the edge of this. And then we're going to put this here. And that should be good. So, our weight, 
is five pounds. It's going to be close. It is going to be close. Put this back up. Right there. Put this back over there. You see, you want some pressure pushing back if possible. That is good. That means that thing inside of the box will be held in place pretty good. So, Yeah, yeah, this feels really good. Listen to that. It's just a box of foam with something in the middle. That is fantastic. So Cross out a couple of these labels. This is a used box. We don't want any confusion for the post people. Now the way this is packaged, you don't need fragile labels on this, but to make the customer happy and to show a little extra effort. We will put these on here. As a customer paid money, so having a few extra stickers to show that you care about what you're doing is not a bad thing to do. Even though, like I said, in my opinion, because of the way this is boxed, it's unnecessary. If you're going to put these on there, I put one on every side. You never know how the box is going to end up sitting here, there, or the other place. All right. Another thing that I do, you don't have to do this, put a piece of tape over them because I'm just not happy with the piece of quality of these stickers by themselves. Now the, the edges just seem like they're gonna peel off. The quality of stuff today is just sad. by 18 by 13 
Wow, that really changed the cost from $28 shipping to $45 shipping. So, let's check the weight. And we got nine pounds now. That's not good. Let's see what that does. Ah, the price is the same. So that's for priority mail. Let's take a quick peek, real quick here. Let's see what they actually paid for the shipping. There's 109 minus 65, $44. All right, so we are going to probably be sending this one FedEx. Let's see what we got here. So. U.S. Priority Mail for this is $45.06. FedEx Home Delivery is $22.97. So we're going to send it that way. All right. <clears throat> Knowing your shipping carriers uh, really helps save you sometimes in shipping issues. When you print out your label, when you're actually buying your label, it gives you a list of services, and then their price for each service is right there. It's a good idea to scroll through there and take a look at your options because sending this FedEx instead of priority mail post office saved us $23. And I actually prefer FedEx for fragile stuff. I have never mailed anything FedEx that has gotten broken. So that, that's my experience with it. I know you're always hearing me talk about I don't like the quality of adhesive on stuff. I love this tape. It's fantastic. It's some good sticky tape. And there we go. Ready to go. My local FedEx drop point is the Office Max up in the plaza. All right, well, we are done with shipping for today. It's the only thing that's sold overnight. So we will catch you on the flip side.